What's up YouTube, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Rashawn Scales. Today in this video guys, I just wanna have a vulnerable conversation about purity and just share what's going on in my life and, and stress how important it is for us to just remain pure and to strive for holiness as this pleases God guys. And this is what God wants for our lives. This is something that we should be pursuing. The Bible says pursue godliness, pursue holiness, uh, pursue righteousness, and it's what every believer should be doing. Um, so for me, it's been a battle, honestly, from just the things that I've exposed myself to uh, when I wasn't saved, I'm still experiencing the consequences of that and I'm right now I'm in the process of sanctification right God is working in me he's working on renewing my mindset you know I still have these old mindsets I still have these these thoughts that come in and I'm just like bro why am I thinking those thoughts and they just come in randomly and I say wow it's because of what I exposed myself to when I wasn't saved and, the th and what I didn't give up when I did come to Christ. So guys, I wanna just stress this, guys. Our sin, our sin, guys, it has consequences to it. The Bible says God cannot be mocked, guys. We reap what we sow, okay? We reap what we sow, the Bible says. So we have to be very, very careful, very mindful, guys, of what we are sowing. What kind of seeds are we sowing? And that is just so important. And, and guys, I've, I've realized that because I exposed myself to these things uh, in, in the past, I'm, I'm still suffering the consequences. And don't get me wrong. When I came to Christ, there were some things he just, he just automatically took from me. For example, cussing. Uh, I used to cuss a lot. But when I came to know the Lord, man, that just, that just went out the door. So he, he just took that from me. But there's some things that he doesn't take and he's just using it right for his glory but uh purity is something that i value um and it's just crazy to just see how i value it when i once didn't care about purity i didn't want to be pure in my relationships uh in in just everyday life um and just purity guys it's, it's so important and it's so important to god and god like i said he wants all his children to pursue purity now our righteousness it does come from christ but we have to work that righteousness out in our life right does that make sense that's like sanctification is, is what i'm talking about but for me it's just like the world we live in guys the society with social media i had to take a break from social media i have to literally unfollow certain people because of what they post you know, I, I'm not being legalistic. This is between me and God. You don't have to do this. It's just between me and God. Uh, this is where I'm at in my relationship. And maybe it can encourage you to do the same thing. I don't know. But what I was exposed to, you might have not been exposed to. So it's different. Someone who struggled with alcohol, for example, um, they, they can't be in an environment where there's alcohol. They will be tempted. Whereas someone didn't have um, a bad past with that, then it wouldn't affect them. So. That's why, but for me personally, guys, I've had a bad experience with, uh, with pornography, with lust, and it just corrupted my mind. And now, all I want to do, guys, is pursue righteousness. I want to be holy and pure. And, and just the more I, I grow in my relationship with God, the, the more I see, man, I actually need Jesus. I, I, need, I need Jesus to heal this mind. I need Jesus to heal my thoughts because these thoughts are absolutely crazy. The thoughts that come in my mind, and I'm sure we all have these thoughts sometimes, and it's just the enemy, and the enemy wants us to, to feed into those thoughts. The enemy wants us, to, wants us to believe that we are those thoughts, but in reality, we're not. And that's so important. I'm not those sexual thoughts. I'm not those evil thoughts. I am who God says I am. And that is, that is a mindset we need to have. And I'm preaching to myself too. But I'm going to be real, like, sometimes I think of these thoughts and it just affects my, my mood. It affects my attitude because I'm like, God, I don't want to think of these thoughts. I just want to be pure. But it, it's a battle. The Bible says, be transformed 
by renewing your mind, guys. We are transformed by renewing our mind to what the Word says, to what the Bible says, to what God says. So it's so important that we're in the Word daily, just knowing and growing in who we are in Christ. It's so crucial that I've found. You know, it's so important. And <clears throat> to go back uh, uh, with, with social media and just TikTok and Instagram, you know, the, the things that you'll see on Instagram, it, it's insane. And TikTok, it's insane. And, and just, and just you know, one look is enough to spark that temptation in you. And for me, I have to take the necessary measures, right? I have to take the necessary measures to protect, to guard my heart, to guard my mind, what I feed it, what I'm looking at. You know, it's crazy. Like it's God working in me, but I, but I, I have to take the necessary measures if I want to grow in my relationship with God. I have to make certain sacrifices. Now I know a lot of people. Uh, it's hard for them to give up social media. But let me tell you something. God will give you the strength to give it up. Right? If 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 you don't want to give it up, just ask ask the Lord. He's gonna give you the strength to give it up. Because he loves you and he wants to do anything he can, okay, for, for your good and his glory. So for me, guys, it's just abstaining from social media and just being very mindful, being very careful of what I watch on TV, what I watch on YouTube, what I listen to, what I listen to music. I, it must be pure, you know, and it's just where I'm at with my relationship with God. Many people are different, but it's just me, okay? So, I just want to stress, guys, purity, purity, purity. Let's pursue it. Let's go after purity. Because in reality, for me, man, I've just come to realize how attractive purity is. When someone is pure, man, that's just attractive. That's just attractive. You know, the things of God, it, it attracts me now, you know. And just all praise and glory be to God. But... Brothers and sisters, I just want to encourage you guys to pursue purity, pursue holiness, because God wants us to. Amen? So I love you guys, and I just pray that this message was able to encourage you. Um, I pray that, it, that it's able to uh, get you thinking of how you are pursuing purity in your life. Um, is purity something that you value? Is it something uh, that is heavy on your heart? God is good, guys, and purity, guys, it's awesome. Purity is the way to go. God's ways are what's best. So let's pursue them. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.